doctor channel anything medicine so today we are beginning with RNA viruses as we did the DNA all the DNA viruses we have finished so um, actually this family is more difficult than DNA viruses and because it's more branched containing more viruses associated with more diseases and more divided so let's start by discussing it uh, generally so today we'll discuss just the general scheme of DNA viruses the divisions we'll make it clear and then we'll go for each virus specifically mentioning just the brief idea and the most important associated diseases with it. so RNA viruses when we say RNA virus we mean first of all we mean that this virus is single strand single strand yes so just when you say RNA virus you mean that it's single strand directly you can't conclude it but there's exception like in DNA viruses yes so the exception here is Rio virus which Rio family which can tear rotavirus the most important for uh, human infection so the only um, the only uh, RNA virus which contain double strand is Rio virus so Rio virus contain double strand RNA yes the only virus be careful pay attention for these exceptions because they can be asked in high end exam so and when we say RNA virus we mean that the RNA material or RNA genetics are uh, saved in the virus either, either as positive strand or negative strand so what we mean by positive and negative positive strand mean that the RNA material are in the mRNA form mRNA form while here non-RNA non -RNA. so negative as mean non non mRNA sorry non mRNA non mRNA non mRNA so you can conclude from this another thing like the positive strand virus since it enters the cells directly it can transform translate into RNA and make the infection while here the negative strand first after entering the cell it has undergo modification through an enzymes so it should contain more enzymes to transfer this RNA to transform this RNA into mRNA so you can conclude that this family is more fast in replication and more fastly or acutely cause the infection so another point when we say RNA virus the genetic material can be circular either circular or linear so all RNA viruses are linear so all of them have this shape of RNA linear okay except bunya which have the circular and hanta is the same always with bunya and delta which is hepatitis D and arena actually so these three are the circular RNA viruses another thing which is also more important when we say RNA virus it means that the RNA can be a complete strand complete strand or segmented so all RNA viruses are mostly complete strand except of some viruses which are segmented and here clinically reflected uh, 
yeah, like, like he, th this point is important clinically. So why we are mentioning? So I will tell you why. So what, what, which are the segmented viruses? It is also as mean segmented here. I'm writing. It's also virus. It is all the circular except delta. So these two circular family are segmented and real. So what we mean, why, why segmented virus is clinically important? Important. Because when we say segmented RNA, it means the virus, for example, this is the capsid, the RNA will be segments. It means that the genetic materials are unstable. So this virus will be genetically unstable. For example, influenza, how many types do we know? Lots of types. And from period to period, there is an outbreak due to genetically unstable feature. So that's why the segmented, owing the segmented RNA, owing the segmented RNA, allow the virus undergoing the major drift and shift. If you heard, there's for influenza a major drift and shift from time to time, from period to period, the virus, uh, a new virus can appear due to gen genetically changing. So that's why segmented viruses we should know because they are more dangerous and more prone to merge with new antigens. So now after when we knew the general features of RNA viruses, let's go for each virus specifically and let's divide them clearly according to the envelopes. So RNA, as we say, divide into positive segment, negative segment, stranded RNA. So the positive strand, the positive uh, stranded RNA divided also into naked and enveloped. Okay? But the negative strand, all of them are enveloped. So we can conclude that just we have three viruses which are naked in RNA, under RNA viruses. So the positive strand, as we say, divided into naked and enveloped. So what are the naked? The naked are Bicorna, Khaleesi, and Rio. And the enveloped are Toga, Corona, and Retro, and Flavi. So how to remember it clearly and easily? To remember it easily, we can say naked viruses are BCR. Enveloped viruses are TCR. Same tone, yes? Then you should add Flavi. So that's how we can remember it. And the, okay, so let's clear this uh, positive standard virus, then go to negative. So let's see some specific features about each virus. So big coronavirus actually, Pico means small. So it's the smallest virus actually, smallest virus in RNA virus, in RNA virus. Same with Khaleesi, also it's small. What is the smallest? The size like from 20 to 25 micrometer. And um, as well as there is a smallest virus in DNA, as we said in the DNA, vir in the DNA video, the smallest virus was parvo. Parvo means also small in Latin. So, um, Rio virus. Rio virus actually, as we say, it's the only virus that have double strand RNA and it also have, plus, it also have, it also have double capsid, which give the, like, which give the shape of wheel, wheel chair. So that's why in some exams they describe this virus as wheelchair virus, wheelchair appearance. Toga virus is the virus, is the family that contain uh, rubella, is the family that contain rubella. But it contain also another viruses and it's, it's associated with another diseases. So we'll mention it when we go further ahead in next videos, specifically for each virus. 
and coronavirus actually is the only virus that have beta-like projections it's not antennas as uh, same with the uh, adenovirus but it's like um, sticks uh, bulged out from the envelope with beta-like projection at the end so this is the typical shape for corona the only virus which have beta-like projections okay retrovirus actually this this family is very important so this family is very important as it have the most important virus now with most important issue HIV virus and it have also human T human T cell virus human T uh, human uh, T cell virus which can make leukemias which is associated with leukemias so flavivirus it's actually associated with um, it contain the hepatitis C virus as well as here in Khaleesi virus it contain hepatitis E hepatitis E but picona virus contain hepatitis A so see hepatitis A is not uh, one genetic uh, they do not share the one genetic material but they share the disease so that's why they call it uh, hepatitis family so don't think hepatitis fam there will be a specific family which called hepatitis family when we discuss the genetic uh, the, the virus as a uh, genetics so it's it's uh, it's like it's, uh, interspersed in the, in the, between the families. So, hepatitis A in Bicorna, E in Khaleesi, Flavi contain hepatitis C, and Delta contain hepatitis D. Hepatitis D. And hepatitis B, you might be asking, where is it? It's in DNA viruses. We mentioned that there are there the hepatitis family. Hebadna family and it contains hepatitis B. So hepatitis B is DNA, not RNA. Next, <clears throat> so um, okay, so the non, so the negative stranded RNA viruses. First, we begin with mexoviridae. Mexo means mucin. So this family love mucin, love mucin. And where is the mucin uh, exist? Mainly exists in respiratory tract. So all this family mixo is associated with respiratory tract infection. So it divides into ortho and paramixo. Yes? The paramixo contain the ortho contain influenza. Yes? Infl influenza. And you know there's a and B and C type influenza, we'll discuss it specifically in the influenza video. But paramyxoviridae, it contains mumps, measles, um, respiratory syncytial virus, and para influenza. influenza. So all these viruses are associated with respiratory tract infection. Rhabdovirus, which is associated with rabies. And arenavirus associated with Lassa fever. Lassa fever. And filovirus, which associated which is actually it contain Ebola virus, one of the most important viruses in this family contain Ebola virus which associated with hemorrhagic fever Bonia virus and Hanta virus both of them associated with hemorrhagic fever hemorrhagic fever and last Delta virus you know it's associated with co-infection co-infection uh, with hepatitis with hepatitis B. So hepatitis B is DNA, as we say. So um, we covered the most important about the general idea about uh, RNA viruses. Next, we will start to will be 
passing over each virus specifically. So I hope that you get the benefit. So thank you.